Okay, so in this example, what we've got to do is prove that sine theta all divided by 1 plus cos theta is identical to tan of half theta or theta over 2. So to do this, let's start by putting proof in the usual way. Copy down, say, the more complicated side, which is going to be the left-hand side, I would have thought. Okay, so done that. What's this identical to? Well, in this example, we've got to reduce it down to what we call a half angle. We've got to reduce theta to a half angle. And to do that, we use the double angle formulae. And let's just recap what they are. I mean, take for instance the sine of 2a. The sine of 2a, you should know, is 2 sine a cos a. And we can use this one here. All right. If we let 2a, let's just put this down, 2a be equal to theta, then can you see that it follows that a would be half theta, or theta over 2. So our formula up here becomes the sine, well, instead of 2a, we end up with theta, and it's identical to 2 sine of a, which is a half theta, or theta over 2, cos theta over 2. All right? So that's the formula that I'm going to use on the top here. So we'll write that in then as the sine of theta is 2 sine theta over 2 cos theta over 2. Now what about the denominator here? Well, we've got cosine and cosine of theta, if we want to reduce it down to half angles, we've got to pull on the double angle formula for cosine 2a. Now, when it comes to cosine 2a, there's three versions of this, but we get a clue from what we've got to prove. Tan, tan of an angle. The tan of an angle is sine over cosine. So it would tend to be that the cosine of 2a ought to be expressed in terms of cosines for the bottom here. So what is the version of cos 2a when it comes to cosines? It's 2 cos squared a minus 1. This is an identity you should know. So again, if we let 2a be equal to theta, and a would therefore be theta over 2, this formula turns into cos of 2a, which is now theta, is identical to 2 cos squared a, a being half theta, minus the 1 here. And it's this that we're going to use in the denominator. So we've got 1 plus cos theta, so we'll put the 1 in first of all, and then we've got plus whatever cos theta is. Well, expressed in half angles, it's going to be 2 cos squared theta upon 2 minus 1. So 2 cos squared theta upon 2 minus 1. What we need to do now is just simplify this. Well, I can see that in the denominator, the 1s are going to cancel. So if we tidy that up, we'll copy out the numerator. And in the denominator, all we're going to have is 2 cos squared theta upon 2. Now we've got one term on the top made up of three factors, 2 and sine theta upon 2 and cos theta upon 2. And in the denominator, we've got one term consisting of 2 multiplied by cos theta upon 2 times cos theta upon 2. So there's a common factor there, cos theta upon 2. So we can cancel that common factor out with the common factor here of cos theta upon 2. Because it's repeated, I can just knock off one of them and I'm left with cos theta upon 2 there. Also, the 2's cancel. They're a common factor, so that 2 can go with that one. So what have we got? We've got sine of theta upon 2 divided by cosine of theta upon 2. 
and if you've got the sine of an angle over cosine of the same angle, which we have, theta upon 2, then this is identical to tan of that angle. So in this case, it's going to be tan of theta over 2. And that's what we had to prove. All right?